Good day everybody. Today we are going to work on a problem on probability. This states that the probability that a man will be alive in 25 years is 3 over 5 and the probability that his wife will be alive in 25 years is 2 out of 3. Find the probability that A both will be alive. That's part A. Part B only the man will be alive. Part C only the wife will be alive. And part D at least one will be alive. So Let's solve the problem. <clears throat> so part A is man and wife alive. Since the man alive and the women alive are independent, is e this is equal to probability of man alive multiplied by probability women or wife alive so we multiply the two probabilities because these are independent events and that is equal to 3 out of 5 multiplied by 2 out of 3 okay so 3 and 3 will cancel, which will result in 2 out of 5. So that's the answer for part A. Okay? Please do not quit right away. I'll give you some important tip at the end of this program. And please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button on the bottom right corner. Uh, I have tons of math problems solved all for you. Part B. Only the man will be alive. So this is probability man alive and wife not alive. Which is equal to, because again these are independent events, probability of man alive multiplied by probability of wife not alive. Now, probability of man alive is, uh, we know, 3 out of 5. And probability of wife not alive is 1. This is multiplied by 1 minus probability of wife alive. Why do I subtract from 1? Because wife not alive is the complement of wife alive. Complement means opposite. So this is equal to 3 fifth times 1 minus 2 third, which is equal to 3 fifth multiplied by 1 third, or 3 and 3 cancel, so it is 1 out of 5. Okay. So <clears throat> again, we use we are using the rule of probability of independent events. We are trying to find probability of one event happening and another event happening. Man alive and wife not alive. So this is product of two probabilities because these are independent events. Which are independent events? Man alive and wife not alive. These are two independent events. So probability of man alive times probability of wife not alive. Now probability of wife not alive is the complement or opposite of wife being alive. So that's why from one we are subtracting the probability of the wife being alive to get the probability of women not alive. Okay, Part C. Only the wife will be alive. So probability of man not alive and wife alive. So probability of man not alive is the man not alive is a complement of man being alive. Okay. So this is a probability of of man not alive 
times probability of wife alive which is equal to now probability of man alive is two fifth so probability of man not alive is one minus three fifth times wife alive is two thirds so one minus three fifth is two fifth multiplied by two third which is equal to four over fifteen and in the last part they ask us to find out at least one will be alive at least one will be alive this event is complement of of not in, neither the husband uh, man nor the wife is alive that means both are dead okay so use the rule of probability of complement events So probability of at least one will be alive is equal to one minus probability neither the man nor the wife is alive. Again These two are independent events, so equal to 1 minus probability of man not alive times probability of wife not alive. So this is equal to 1 minus probability of man not alive is 1 minus <coughs> 1 minus uh, fifth times one minus wife being alive is two thirds so this so this is equal to one minus two fifth multiplied by one third so this is equal to <clears throat> one minus two over fifteen which is equal to 15 over 15 minus 2 over 15 which is equal to 13 over 15 so that's your final answer so before i stop i want to give you an important uh, tip the tip is to realize um, that probability of complement event is equal to 1 minus so if we are talking about oops if we are talking about probability of complement of A, that is equal to 1 minus probability of A, where AC is complement of A. Complement means opposite of A. So I stop here today. If you have any question, comment, please do not hesitate to write me a note. Or write me a comment I'll get back to you as soon as is possible if you like this video please give me a thumbs up I appreciate that if you like this video share with your friends you and your friends please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner thanks for watching have a nice day take care